Bobby Kennedy touched many people's lives. Now from some who were closest to him. What was special about Bob? Part of it is just his energy. Um, his sheer physical uh, energy and, and courage. Um, whether it's climbing Mount Kennedy or floating down the Colorado River or walking 50 miles in the snow, you know, he had a physical presence that it was attra attractive. Um, and he also had that energy that he took, a personal energy, that he, and he took to questions of justice and would go to South Africa or go into the uh, ghetto and say, we can do better, that it's unacceptable in this country, that people live like this and that they're treated like this. But he also, in a way that I think is different sometimes from uh, politicians today, he was willing to say uncomfortable things to the groups who even supported him. He could go for instance, to uh, a group of students, um, white students at the, at the university, and they would say, um, and he'd describe the questions of what was go uh, the problems in the ghetto, and they would say, who would pay for this? And he said, you will. Now, what politician is going to say that today? At the time, uh, a lot of it was was the, the trauma of, of the loss uh, of his brother. I mean, the, the kind of a national yearning to restore Camelot somehow. Uh, through him, uh, but I think uh, I think it went beyond that uh, because uh, I remember when when Martin Luther King uh, was assassinated and and Robert Kennedy came here to the riots uh, in Washington and went into the into the most uh, hard hit areas and uh, people um, uh, who were rioting uh, reached out to him and uh, he had a he had a very positive effect on, on the atmosphere. And um, the reason was, I think a lot of them identified his hurt with their hurt. He was a very uh, empathetic person, uh, not uh, through what he said, uh, but also just uh, there, was, there was a manner about him as if, he, as if he, was, he was deeply wounded, which of course he was as a result of, of losing his brother. And he, he, he demonstrated that uh, in, both in words and in kind of his, the atmosphere around him. And so uh, I think that was what, uh, what generated a tremendous amount of that uh, enthusiasm and uh, an earnest um, uh, liking of the, of, of the man. He represented, I think, a new force in American politics. He had been Attorney General of the United States at the age of 35, and unquestionably perhaps the greatest Attorney General in this century, I don't think anybody doubts that, turned the Justice Department into an instrument of civil rights, seeking out corruption in labor unions, fighting the uh, organized crime. Until uh, Robert Kennedy was Attorney General, the FBI was not even prepared to recognize that there was any such thing as organized crime. So he was a leader in, in the sense that he found new areas of, of activity in behalf of people who had not before been represented. Uh, in addition, he carried a very special kind of, he was sort of specially charged. I mean, when he spoke, you had a sense that he meant what he said. He was not a politician. I don't think he ever gave a politician's speech or a politician's answer. Uh, he didn't have any of the small talk. I remember once someone on one of the network uh, shows, Meet the Press or Face the Nation, said to him, began the interview by saying, Senator, do you think President Johnson is doing everything he can to end the war in Vietnam? And Senator Kennedy said, no. That's a very unpolitical answer. I'm sure the reporter then began scrambling, thinking, my God, what am I going to say now? Because politicians always give you time to think of the next question while they're trying to think of a, of a way to balance the answer. He didn't balance his answers. Uh, so I think that the reason people were drawn to him or disliked him, and there were plenty of both, uh, was this sense that he did mean what he said. And then Bobby came along, and his, his finger, I'll never forget, that fist, that hand, it, it said as much as his words. I mean, there was something so expressive about him. I do it so easily because I don't know how many of us in the political area use just a little bit of Bobby Kennedy when we get up to speak. I know it affected me. You couldn't work on a campaign, and I've worked on every single campaign that a Kennedy has run, um, if you didn't have, um, if you didn't, if you, you would have to leave with the accent, 
you would leave with a Boston accent, you would talk like them, you would have the inflections like them, and you would know that this is the way it was. And it took me a long time to get to where I come, 